The video you're watching on face value looks totally normal. Sheep grazing in their paddock, dog in the front yard, a few of the farm sheds, right down to the implement in the garden. And that's when normal stops and one decision changed it all. I just want to talk a little bit more about uh, when I was first approached by Origin, uh, by the liaison officer, who was uh, David Williamson. And he came over and uh, came across nice and rosy, friendly face, handshakes, and told me how good uh, you know, coal seam gas was going to be and this extra money that I'll be getting, and they hardly have any impact on me, and they're just going to put 15 wells on. And they're just going to come in my front gate, conduct uh, their activities on my place to do the construction for a certain amount of time as a term and then they're going to pack up and move on to the next property. Uh, that never happened, they didn't come through my front gate, they ended up cutting a hole in my northern boundary which was further to the 800 metres, well 900 metres to the uh, west of my uh, front gate, cut a hole in my fence there and used that as their main arterial. They then proceeded to cut hole, further holes in my northern boundary to uh, put the gathering system through in my western boundary, three more holes in my southern boundary, four in my eastern boundary and there was no consultation whatsoever with any of that. And so they just proceeded to go ahead and cut holes in the boundary fence, go wherever the hell they liked uh, to my neighbours' properties and ended up putting permanent gates and everything in and, uh, and they, uh, I had to remove them personally myself through the ongoing aggravation of having on my property and even to points where they actually flattened my six foot fence and uh, drove straight over the top of it. That was a complete contempt. Uh, they have no principles, no morals whatsoever, this company. They're just ruthless in every regard and do whatever the bloody hell they like. They're an absolute disgrace. And our government are disgraced to boot with uh, allowing this all to happen. And they're the people we entrust to look after us. And what well, we think we can trust them to look after us, being the uh, democratically elected uh, people. So this is what they had to dig up over here, but nobody knew about it. Lakers has come on their own. And they've dug this up, didn't tell me, didn't consult me about it, and they've lifted the pipe and put sandbags underneath it. Wayne has experienced what the unconventional gas lobby is attempting to hide, a rapidly growing discontent among landowners who have been deceived by both the gas industry and the government. Wayne invited me to witness the decimation of his farm in the aftermath of the coal seam gas industry's construction phase. He showed us infrastructure from gas wells to regional storage ponds for the coal seam gas produced water and even a coal seam gas drill rig. Here we are on my uh, property for me now at RA uh, 40 on my property which is on my eastern boundary. Uh, these blokes have come in again to finish this last well site. The vision I had for my uh, loss I had visioned for myself after 12 years in the army by my own place and developing it, a 2,000 acre block. And now I've got all these gas wells in my place, venting, a high point vents, low point drains. And it's just incredible what they're doing. I get headaches in my own lounge room for crying out loud. I can't even go out in the paddock so many bikes uh, for getting headaches and sore eyes. And these blokes are here earning the big bucks and then going back to their flash digs in Brisbane or wherever else and not having a, uh, a sideways thought about us living out here and now what the lifestyle it has been ruined for us and what we're having to live with for the rest of our lives which is you know this project's going to go on for the next 20 to 30 years and that's all uh, headaches and sore eyes and what's it doing to my health in the long run how many years am I going to have am I going to see this operation out these are things you start to think about and well, what they're doing to your place I've got all these roads uh, scattered throughout my place and pipelines. I've had two pipelines go through, the QGC one, which uh, goes over 2.4 k's my property and is 40 metres wide. And then I've had the um, NACAP, LNG Pacific line, come through along my western boundary. And what they've done uh, down that western boundary is incredible. Got a gathering system right next to that. And that the network is going to be scattered through my place. I've got three substations on my property and uh, over 10 uh, high point vents which all vent out uh, high volumes of uh, methane gas and all the other uh, elements that are coming out as well. And 
then you got the low point drains which are in the low points and uh, and pouring out uh, three, four truck loads uh, at a time of water uh, coming out of the Colson gas system and that's is radiating off uh, all sorts of uh, gases and materials as well. I've had bird life killed in these low point drains and I've got pictures of all of that. Uh, so th they tell us that this stuff isn't harming our lifestyle and our way of life. They've got to be joking. They reckon they, we can live uh, in a, uh, a uh, neighbourhood type environment together uh, by partial uh, relationship. That's a, that's a big joke as well. There's, you can't live with this. They don't pay you enough to uh, walk away from it. Uh, it's just disgraceful. And you just look at these blokes now just looking down at us and scoffing at us, trying to defend our way of life. And uh, when they've done nothing but harm to our way of life. Uh, yeah. You just don't know what to, uh, the way to feel. You just feel anger and hurt and all the anxieties uh, comes out and you get depressed about it all. Uh, here I am, I'm just getting together my nest egg. I've got all my tractors, my machinery, my gator and, and uh, ploughing up paddocks, clearing, trying to develop this place and now just being completely ruined. Yeah. Where do you go from here? It's, uh, it's a question and uh, only time will tell but yeah, it, uh, things just keep getting worse and worse. I can not have any friendlier to these guys right at the start, which is over 12 months ago, but uh, the relationship is now at knife edge. I just can't uh, stand the sight of them, and they're not pulling out their weed and seed decks. I caught a bloke yesterday, and he had a weed, it's the 19th, uh, what's well, 20th of Feb today, and he had a uh, weed and seed deck uh, dated to the 2nd of February, which is absolutely disgraceful. And the water trucks are coming on. You don't know what the quality of the water is if the water truck's coming on. Uh, the uh, just recently they're talking about trying to change the uh, environmental law so they can use straight coal seam gas water and pour it straight into your tracks and roads. And here I have high point vents leaking on my property like a kiddie swimming pool and uh, saturating like large areas on my property and that's putting out high volumes of salt as well as all other metals and toxic substances which are coming out from the coal, coal seam gas. And, um, and then now they're talking about just putting it straight in the roads for dust uh, suppression. Yeah, they can't. Uh, they can't just. Uh, can't be allowed to do this, and uh, they can't be allowed to do this to Australia. And uh, if we can uh, convey these messages to as many people as we can, to uh, stop them uh, from spreading and ruining Australia's environment, our community environments, um, let it be done. This must be uh, aired to everyone, to, so they can understand what our small uh, community here in the Ch Chinchilla Hopelands area and the widespread out through Roma and throughout Queensland. This can't be allowed to happen anywhere else. This has to stop here. It's just disgraceful. My life's been uh, totally ruined. My place isn't, uh, after uh, building uh, Bear Block 2,000 acres, building a house, machinery sheds, and getting my tractors and clearing land, and now my place isn't worth what I paid for a Bear Block for it. I wouldn't be able to sell it to anybody. So where's my financial gain at having coal seam gas in my property? There is none. Yep, it's just disgraceful. Yeah. Everywhere you turn, there's more gas infrastructure and pipelines. And then if you look uh, through that, you can see another well site, uh, straight past this uh, retrans. And then further beyond that, you can see the roof of the GPF plant, which is uh, all in class with Sydney. You can see how evenly uh, spaced they are. And then if we turn around more and look towards the east, you can see my house. So my house is in close proximity, so house, GPF, well site, and you've got another well site just over to my left again. You've got high point vents, uh, you've got intersections of where the gathering system comes into uh, one another, and this is all in the middle of my paddocks, my grazing paddocks, as well as my agricultural paddocks, and I want to put wheat and oats and barley in, uh, and I'm going to have to go around stuff like this in my paddocks. You can also see the, where the manholes are for the valve points to switch on the uh, different, uh, switch off the different uh, well sites or open them up. So they're all in the middle of my paddocks as well. And this is all stuff I've got to look out for when driving around on my tractor when I'm ploughing. So I can't just uh, go in straight lines and put guideposts out and just stick, uh, go up and down my paddock. I've now got to go around Origins uh, sub, uh, well, all their infrastructure that they've got on my property. It's all stuff that I was told I was going to have the wells on my property and uh, this on my place for a certain period of time and they didn't say anything about three substations, low point drains, high point vents, which I've all discussed uh, previously. And uh, this is now what I'm putting up with and I've got to drive circles around and it's all in eyeshot of my house 
and eyesores to me from my house. And then when you have got them on your property, you're seeing white vehicles skipping around here, there and everywhere. And none of this was discussed or opened up to me. This is all uh, non-consultation on their behalf. I just went ahead and, uh, and did all this on their own behalf. All this has an impact on the landholder and uh, interrupts with his, uh, his uh, lifestyle and uh, trying to develop an, a, a property uh, to graze uh, his sheep and cattle and, uh, and do some cropping on and uh, should have been uh, told to you when you first up, especially when you've got GPF plan across the road, where was the consultation and uh, where was the uh, open uh, discussion saying that you're not going to be able to live here because uh, you can't live in close proximity to a GPF plant, uh, run a GPF plant. And uh, the emissions and the cloud and flares uh, just lights up the uh, grid squares and you can see all the smoke and vapour and emissions that uh, come out of it. Uh, so what would your advice be to other farmers and, and other people around Australia who are going to be, um, I guess, faced with the coal seam gas industry coming and the unconventional gas industry uh, coming into their properties? Um, having been there and done that, your advice to them, what would it be, Wayne? Uh, for me, for me personally, if I could rewind the clock, I'd stop them from coming to my place altogether. And, uh, but to them who's uh, being approached by um, coal seam gas at the moment, I urge them to get that, as much information and visit as many impacted farmers and people who have been dealing with the coal seam gas industry to, uh, to get that advice, uh, have a look for themselves and see the impacts. And I'm sure once you see and uh, see the impacts for yourself and speak to those affected and the stress and anxiety and uh, depression that causes in a lot of people, uh, they will uh, they'll soon discover that they don't want this on their property. And so to them, I recommend uh, it uh, by, uh, by means, uh, fight it uh, tooth and nail. You don't want this on your property. And uh, get as much information as you possibly can. Visit and talk to the people who have uh, got the experience and, uh, and had the impact uh, on them to uh, get their advice and uh, and uh, I'm more than willing to put an invitation out there to anybody who wants to come and have a look for themselves uh, right here in my backyard to the uh, impacts of coal seam gas because you've got everything going on here and you'll see it uh, you've got from all the gas wells to the high point vents, low point drains, you've got substations, all the infrastructure, the two pipelines going through the property and then you've got a uh, uh, processing facility right across the road, your own processing facility, centre uh, processing facility, I should say. And so you'll see all that for yourself, you're all in one location. So I uh, well, please do invite you, and uh, you can see for yourselves if this, um, uh, see yourselves that you don't want coal seam gas in your property. And um, yeah, just yeah, from the headaches, it's always the health issues, uh, just to the stress and the anxiety, the intrusion, uh, it all happens and you don't want it, and just uh, messes up your lifestyle and your way of life. Twelve point seven oxygen, thirty three now, thirty four. Thank <laughs> you.